my lab is working with a relatively new technology, although it's, it's becoming more well-known now, known as functional near-infrared spectroscopy. And the important part of this is that we use it for translation of neuroimaging. That is, we want to get this into the hands of clinicians and on-site at clinics to actually help the patients. The reason that we're doing this is that uh, right now, clinicians do not have any objective measures when they're trying to make dis treatment decisions for patients with substance abuse problems. Uh, when you go in to see your uh, physician for your cholesterol, they take a blood test. Uh, we don't have anything like that in psychiatry. And so what we're actually working on is using this technology, which measures the uh, activation of the brain, particularly in the prefrontal cortex, this part up front here. Uh, while people are looking at various uh, images of their, their uh, drug of addiction, whether it be alcohol, opiates, um, how they are evaluating uh, natural wards like kids and puppies, and also while they're doing various uh, tasks that, in, in, that may involve impulsivity. And using these together, we're trying to develop an objective brain-based measure to say who's at greatest risk for relapse and who's actually uh, possibly able to maintain their sobriety over time. We would use this tool for clinicians to be able to help talk with their patients and say, and this, is what, this is what you tell me, but this is what your brain tells me, and can we make a decision together using that information?